Well, Bindi Irwin has been a wildlife conservationist since she was a baby. She's won countless awards, film and TV credits, and now she's back where her home is at Australia Zoo. You know, this is really where my heart lies. Although mo most people don't have the kind of animals that you have in your backyard. I mean, look yeah. at this. Look at these little bubby rhinos. Gorgeous. This is little Humphrey. Humphrey is our kind of newest arrival here. He's so sweet. Every morning my alarm clock is crocodiles and lemurs. And <laughs> <laughs> it's a great life. And, and that's something that will never change. This will always be a part of me. Did it ever feel like there was going to be any other part? Really, for me, this is everything. I mean, here at Australia Zoo, our wildlife and conservation work, it's just a part of me. I think I'm never going to wake up one day and say, well, I'm done saving the world now, I'm going to become an <laughs> astronaut. <laughs> you know? It's just, it, it's who I am. And it's kind of, it runs in my blood. Yeah. And every day of my life, I want to make Dad proud mm. and make sure that everything he worked so hard for continues on into the future. Can you hear that? I can hear that. Those are the lemurs, actually. Oh, that's so that's, that's what wakes me up every morning. How much time your favourite bits then? I I'm, just, I'm just going to be in awe just listening the whole well, day. Well, today is going to be really fun. We're going to throw you in with everything. You're going to meet a lot of wildlife and you truly will be officially a wildlife warrior. Fantastic. I'm up for it. <laughs> Let's, Let's go. go. Come on. <laughs> Brilliant. So would you like to feed her? This is I little Rosie here. To. Little Isn't Rosie. She beautiful? <laughs> I know. She's not so little, but if you have a look, look at that giant tongue. Of it's hers. blue. It is. It's blue. And they're actually the funniest animals. Kind of like the little aliens of the African savannah, because they have those huge eyes and giant ears. And the ears. eyelashes. Look at the eyelashes. And those eyelashes, they don't look real. <laughs> here, grab some more carrots. <laughs> so he'll do this. Like that. <laughs> and then they take them right out of his mouth. So if you would like to try... Let me try that. Do you want to try? Oh, I'll try. Because it's actually pretty fun. Okay. So let me swap your you places. Ready? And then what she'll do is take it right out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's so wonderful. Awesome. Good job. It's so I'm lovely. just all about the eyelashes. I know. You're so gorgeous. <laughs> This part of Australia Zoo is just probably one of my favourite places because this is Bindi's Island and it's right next to the African savannah. And this was really a huge part of Dad's dream. He wanted to open up Bindi's Island to be able to showcase the beauty, beauties of Madagascar. So we have lemurs and tortoises and I think that for us as a family it's beautiful to be able to see this completed and to know that you know, somewhere Dad's looking down on us. It's <laughs> an amazing, kind of amazing legacy. Should we go Thank have a look? You. Let's go have a look. Come on. Toby is our ring-tailed lemur. Isn't he just the sweetest thing you've ever seen? He's going to hop onto okay. your shoulder. So we'll, we'll give him a second. Well done, love. Oh, good Hello. job. Do you want to have a little treat here for look, you? And you? Thank have you, some Monica. Pigs there. Thank you so much, dear. Isn't he the funniest oh, little exquisite. lemur? Can you feel his little hands? Yeah, so they don't actually feel like claws as such. They're quite soft. No, they're like little people hands and they have fingernails just like we do. And they are so gentle. You can see that he has those cute little teeth on the sides, but he's really careful when he takes the... So food. actually not, he's, he's certainly not nipping my fingers or yeah, anything. it's true. And they're just really gentle animals. You're so good though, you have the perfect shoulder. He's very happy. <laughs> so it's, it's got a quite... <laughs> Quite a lot of space up there. No, no, no. You're just really calm, <laughs> honestly. A huge part of the zoo's work is their conservation program. And today, I'm lucky enough to see the hospital in action. Well, this is not something that you see every day. It's Hello. True. Hello. Hi, you guys. Thank you. This is our beautiful wildlife hospital. And we are so lucky because we have the most incredible family here. And so right now we have little Beatrice. And Beatrice has a mouth infection, which is very okay. unfortunate. So she's getting better. She's getting ready for release. But right now she's going to have a checkup just to see what else we can do to help her. The Wildlife Hospital is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We've had over 62,000 animals That's amazing. during the life of the Wildlife Hospital. And so Beatrice will, if, if the, everything goes well with the yep. mouth infection, she'll be back out in the wild soon? Exactly. Absolutely. Yep, you might see yep. her up a tree somewhere. It's always, it's always, <laughs> it's always a thrill. It's always yeah, a thrill when exactly. they just they they know them. what to do and they just go straight up the tree and you go, oh. Yeah. Yeah. All that work was worth yeah. it. Yes, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> absolutely.
Dusty here, he's a black-headed python, and they're called black-headed pythons for a good reason. <laughs> So these guys are really sweet, but they're not venomous. And often you'll find a lot of people are just a little afraid of snakes. So we have snake therapy here at the zoo. It's actually for real? We snake do, therapy. snake therapy. So we teach people how to love these guys and not be so afraid of them because they're actually really gorgeous animals. And if you leave them alone, they're pretty happy. Would you like to go see some more animals? I would love to. Let's do it, come on, we'll, right, we'll, we'll walk, walk together. together. Here we go. <laughs> over a thousand animals at Australia Zoo. So does Bindi have a favourite? I do really love echidnas. <laughs> so don't tell any of the other animals that, but echidnas are one of my favourite creatures because they're just so odd. <laughs> it's like someone was having a funny day and decided to put a giant nose and huge ears and a lot of spikes on a blob. And so <laughs> they're really, really cute. So this is little Fatty here. Hi, and Fatty. she is one of the sweetest echidnas you'll meet in your entire life. But have a look at that tongue. That tongue's so long. Is I did not long? expect that. Would you, you like, smell food? Would you like to try feeding her? I would love yeah? to. Yeah, all right. Well, I'm going to set her on the ground just here like that. That is brilliant. Yeah, so they love it. And they only look have that Look at their tongue. That is working over time. Isn't that crazy? And can you feel it? It's like this little worm. <laughs> it's so cute. So they don't have great eyesight, but they have sensors all along their nose so they can pick up on those ants and termites. Your dad actually met your mum working at the zoo, isn't that right? He did. My mum visited. Australia. She was coming from Oregon. She saw Dad doing a croc show, and um, that was it. My history appears to have been repeating itself, Miss Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit. I am really lucky. I have, I have someone wonderful in my life, and. He is, he's a terrific guy. We met here at the zoo as I well. I know, I think it's just like a goosebumps Actually, just thinking about it. Actually, pretty much in the exact same spot that my mum and dad did. It's great to have people in your life who, who understand and who share the same passions and are just as determined to make a difference. And I would imagine that they'd be very positive people. I imagine Chandler's positive because you are an exceptionally positive individual, aren't you? Thank you. Well, it's. It's about finding that happiness in yeah. every day and finding that light in every day. And I think that, you know, you're only given so long in this this life. And and if you're able to use each day to the best of your ability to affect other people and find that happiness, then you're on a win. Beautiful. Well, Bindi, this has been an absolute blast. Like, your dad is an extraordinary human being, and I've got to say that you are doing just as amazing a job. You are just as generous. You are just as incredible. And today has been a real honour and a privilege. Oh, you are so kind. <laughs> you are so much beautiful. Truly, you are so inspiring. And to have someone who is so passionate about wildlife and making a difference really means the world. And because of today, I wanted to give you your official khaki wildlife warrior shirt so you can wear this anytime you like. You're a part of our family forever now. Oh, so this is really? for you, dear. That Welcome is to the fantastic. Family. I will wear that with pride.